For WNCW, I'm Pam Bunch. TEDx Next Generation Asheville. Ashley Cooper, Creative Executive Director of TEDx Next Generation Asheville, explained a little about how TED got started and even where the name TED came from. TED was a conference that's been happening around the world for 20 years, and TED stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design. And the concept is about ideas worth spreading. And so they bring leading-edge thinkers, and they're invited to give the talk of what they're most passionate about in 18 minutes or less. And five years ago, these all went up online at TED.com and have just been a huge resource to the intellectual and educational and technological communities. And so a year ago, they started what they called TEDx, and the X stands for Independently Organized. So this was a way for local communities to apply for a license and use the TED brand to put on a TED-like conference but organize it independently. Ours is called TEDx Next Generation Asheville. So ours is really about spotlighting the wisdom and the talent and the creativity of our local teenagers and all of the organizing of this event, but it has been done with adults and teenagers working in collaboration together. To hear Cooper talk about it, it seems so simple, but it's also so complex. It's about, as the mission statement of the original TED says, ideas worth spreading. TEDx Next Generation Asheville is going to be on August 28th from 3 to 7 p.m., and we'll be at the Orange Peel in Asheville. But Cooper says the event is just the beginning. To us, The event is just a catalyst, and we're hoping to catalyze in the community an awareness of the innovation and the creativity and the real value that our local teenagers have to contribute. We want this to just be a spotlight of, hey, check it out. Look at what they're saying. Look at what we're capable of, and look at what's on our hearts and minds. And then after that is where it goes from there. You know, how could this concept and these opportunities be integrated into school systems and after school programs and community organizations? What's possible if we started to integrate more of the teens' wisdom and talents into kind of how our communities operate? Naturally, since this entire conference is about young people, Cooper brought along two young men who will be participating in 10X Next Generation. First, I spoke with David Rudow, a 17-year-old who sounds more mature than his years. I asked how he found himself to be involved. Well, actually, um, I was nominated by a uh, teacher of mine, and they nominated me, and TEDx contacted me, and they said, we'd love to have you present, and I sent in the application. I jumped at the chance. I'm a performer at heart. I did theater in middle school. I've done dance for three years at Asheville High, and it's kind of my calling to be on stage and perform in front of people, and so I was very, very excited when they said that I would be able to speak in front of people at the Orange Peel. I'm going to be speaking about our connection with the stars and how, in the past, looking up at the stars has grounded us and humbled us and kind of gave us a sense of place in the universe. And now we know more than ever about the universe and the world around us, but the average person knows absolutely nothing about the night sky. Most people can't even find the North Star. I'm going to talk is kind of about how we need to connect and why it's important. Then he told me a story that really summed it all up. In L.A., I think in 98, there was an earthquake, and it knocked out a lot of the power in L.A., and a lot of uh, like emergency services and the um, observatory in L.A. got all these calls saying, there's this, there's this big white silver cloud in the sky. What is it? Or what, what should we do? They're like, just don't worry. It's okay. It's just the Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. It's funny, <laughs> but it's so sad. Next, I spoke with Nate Wilcox Pettit, also 17 years old, and asked how he became involved in TEDx. Well, actually, a friend of mine was already involved, and when I heard about it, it grabbed my attention because I've been interested in TED for a while. I I loved the website and watching TED Talks and, you know, what other people have done. I just thought it was such an exciting idea that we would have a space for teenagers to be able to share our ideas because I know a lot of great, very inspired teenagers, but there's not really much of a way for them to share their thoughts or their ideas with the adult world as well. So it was really, really exciting to be able to talk for the uh, the larger community of Asheville. I told him how much I've learned from young people over the years and that perhaps their unique perspective on things comes from the very fact that they are young and inexperienced and that inexperience can be freeing. What he said told me that he's really given the future a lot of thought. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, 
it's a very interesting phase in life, the teenage years. I'm finding myself with the knowledge that I'm going to be moving out of the house pretty soon um, <laughs> after I graduate. I'm I'm exploring more. I'm kind of kind of figuring out how I'm going to land on my feet in the world, and that's a really important thing I think for most people in their lives. And just the knowledge that like you can you can do pretty much anything from this point is a very a very valuable one. Again, Ashley Cooper. We might think we know what teens want, but we don't really know what teens want. For me, it's been really empowering to have the teens involved because they keep it fun and engaging and actually one thing that Nate said to me once was I don't want this thing to become about kids trying to be adults I really want to preserve the spirit of adolescence. Super also reminded me that TEDx Next Generation is an independently organized event that was sanctioned by the big TED but TED only had their very first young person speak this year. And now there's TEDx events for youth and by youth happening all around the world. For anyone that's interested in seeing TEDx Next Generation Asheville at the Orange Peel on August 28th, Cooper says it's important to understand that this is not something that is just a show. The audience participation at a TED event is just as important as the presenters and performers. So our audience, we hope to be a mixture of adult and youth leaders who are ready to connect with one another, to engage these really big ideas, and then even ideally walk out of this with ideas about how they could create, collaborate to create positive change. So currently, if you're interested in attending the event, the best thing to do is to send me an email at ashley at tedxnga.com, T-E-D-X-N-G-A.com. And let me know that you're interested and why you're interested, because we really, registration is not broadly open to the public at this time. We really want to make sure it's people who are going to take these ideas and move them forward. And you can learn more about us at our website, which is TEDxNGA.com. And one more thing. TEDx Next Generation Asheville is also still looking for sponsors. So go to that website at www.tedxnga and let them know. My thanks to Ashley Cooper, David Rudow, and Nate Wilcox Pettit. For WNCW, I'm Pam Bunch.